what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video so as you saw yesterday we did a center tier list power rankings whatever you want to call it and today we're going to be doing a power forward tier list of my projected starting power forwards going into this season so let's uh just go ahead and get right into it without further ado let's jump right in and talk about what our tier list is going to look like for the starting power forward position for the 2022-2023 season. So just like yesterday's video, if you did end up watching it, as you know, I am currently out of town. I'm recording this on July 26th. You won't be seeing this till like August 2nd. So if uh, any of this has changed, uh, definitely, obviously won't be here. And also, by the way, boys, make sure you guys feel free to correct me on this. If you would disagree with any of these starting power forward projections if you think it's gonna be somebody else feel free to let me know down in the comment section below i actually made this i had to make this because there's no updated tier list right now so uh you know bear with me but regardless let's go ahead and get right into it make sure you drop a like of course subscribe if you're new but starting off with the houston or i guess the dallas mavericks now christian wood uh they acquired via trade and i just clicked on an ad so hold on Back to your regular scheduled programming. I'm going to throw Christian Wood in B tier starting power forward. I might throw him in A. Well, nah, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm cool with B. So I'm basing off the last time we saw these guys play. So I like Christian Wood as a B or, or B, -T, or B, B tier power forward. Damn, I can't speak. Okay, bear with me. I'm sorry, boys. I'm recording like five videos in a row right now for you boys to have content while I'm gone. All right, Christian Wood on the Dallas Mavericks. I'm going to B. Ben Simmons, uh, you know, honestly, Ben Simmons gets made fun of a lot, and we know that he has been very, very diva-ish lately, but when he does play, I think he dev definitely makes an impact. He's an A-tier starting power forward, and hopefully uh, he can make that kind of impact in Brooklyn, but we'll see what happens. I'm not even sure where his career is going to go at this point because Kevin Durant might be traded by the time you're seeing this video. So Ben Simmons, A-tier. Kyle Kuzma starting, you know, solid power forward. I think I'm okay with throwing him in the B tier with Christian Wood. Might end up changing that. Who knows? But I like Kyle Kuzma in the B tier. Uh, Jaron Jackson uh, starting power forward for the Grizzlies. Not going to be immediately healthy to start the season, but I do like him in A tier with Ben Simmons. I think he is an above average starting power forward. So I like Jaron Jackson and he can shoot threes and block shots. What more could you really want out of your power forward? Okay. This one is different because I have no idea who the Miami Heat plan on starting at power forward. Are they going to start Jimmy Butler? I have no clue. So I have Caleb Martin here. And I, again, I, Miami might be looking to solve this position still. Might be still looking to make a trade. But as the time of recording this, they really don't even have a power forward. So ESPN literally has Duncan Robinson listed as their starting power forward, uh, you know, as far as the depth chart is concerned. I'm throwing him in C tier. I don't think you want him to be your starting power forward. But maybe he corrects me and he's a freaking stud. Who knows? Zion Williamson, when he does play, if he's healthy, I think he's an A-tier power forward, maybe even S-tier, but for now, since it's been a small sample size, I want to see him do it for a longer time. I'm going to throw him in A-tier. Patrick Williams for the Chicago Bulls, 3 and D power forward. I think B-tier is solid enough. Might move him to C, we'll see. Scotty Barnes, similar situation. I think he definitely belongs in A-tier. Toronto made a great uh, you know, impact immediately as a rookie of the year. Start at power forward for them, so I like uh, Scotty Barnes and, and one rookie of the year as well. And Evan Mobley, kind of the same thing. I'm going to throw him in the same tier. Jeremy Sohan, I don't think it's fair for me to grade him because he obviously has not played. I assume that's who will start at power forward for the Spurs. Obviously, has not played a single regular season minute of basketball. I don't even think he played in summer league. So definitely can't judge him. So I'm going to go PJ Tucker for the Philadelphia 76ers in B tier. I think that was a solid addition. Kind of same thing for Al Horford. Great starting or similar, you know, immediate great starting power forward for the Boston Celtics was very good in the playoffs at times, so I like that a lot. Bojan Bogdanovic, I don't even know if he'll remain in Utah uh, by the time you see this video, but I'm going to go B tier. I don't even know what Utah is doing at this point. I think the Donovan Mitchell trade is on the horizon, but for now, I will have Bojan in B tier. Giannis is obviously going to go in S tier, so I like Giannis Antetokounmpo at the S tier spot. Aaron Gordon, same thing. I think he's a st solid starting power forward in Denver. The power forward position is kind of stacked. I kind of like what we have so far. Julius Randle, same thing. I think if he would have played like he did with his all-star season, A tier for sure, but kind of fell off a little bit. So I'm okay with B tier, still solid enough. Jabari Smith Jr., Keegan Murray, two guys that I don't think it's fair for me to judge them because we saw them in summer league. Keegan Murray looked amazing. Jabari, not so much. Showed flashes, but for the most part was a little eh. So I think I'll leave them uh, out for now so I won't judge them completely. Jeremy Grant for the Portland Trailblazers now. I think he is an above average starting power forward. I uh, can stretch the floor a little bit. 
provides a little bit of uh, defense as well and also can uh, maybe provide a little bit of playmaking as he was kind of doing that in Detroit. So I like Jeremy Grant at B for now. I think he's kind of on that same tier as some of these other guys. There is Baisley. Um, I have no idea if this is who the Thunder will be starting at power forward, so feel free to correct me if that is the case. It might be Pokoshevsky. Um, but I'm going to throw Darius Baisley at the C spot just because unless if they're going to like start Chet at power forward, I don't know what they plan on doing, but I'm going to throw him in C. I think I'm going to throw Baisley at C. PJ Washington, uh, what do I want to do here? I think since since PJ Washington's supposed to be coming off the bench and it's not really his fault, Miles Bridges should be here and then he'd probably go in B or A, honestly, but we all know what happened. So I'm going to throw PJ Washington in C. Because he's not even supposed to be there starting power forward. So, although he is solid. He's really solid. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, maybe B is... I like P.J. Washington, but simply for the fact that the Hornets aren't supposed to be starting him. I guess I'll throw him in C. O'Shea Brissett. I couldn't decide whether the Pacers will be starting Jalen Smith or Brissett. So, I just threw him uh, here. I'm going to throw Brissett in C as well with uh, Caleb Martin, Baisley, P.J. Washington. Marvin Bagley. Same thing. I think I'm going to throw him in C tier with these other guys. Paulo, can't judge him yet. Jay Crowder, nice 3 and D power forward. Provides defense. You know, great energy guy for the Phoenix Suns. Draymond Green, going to throw an A tier. Above average starting power forward. We all know what he brings to the table. Carly Towns, S tier for me. Uh, he'll be starting at power forward this year alongside Rudy Gobert, it sounds like. So, you'll have Cat at the power forward spot. That should be interesting. He kind of plays like a power forward anyway. Uh, you got Marcus Morris for uh, the Los Angeles Clippers. I'm going to throw him in B tier. I think he's a solid starting power forward. Uh, Anthony Davis, S tier. I know he wasn't great last season, but I feel funny if I throw him in A tier. Uh, when he does play his very, very best, he is an S tier power forward. And I assume that's where the Lakers will want to play him this year more than the center spot. I'm sure he'll be playing center a little bit, but for now, I'll have him in S tier. And then John Collins, last but not least, I think I'm going to throw him in B tier with these other guys. So that is my final power forward tier list rankings. You got Jeremy Sohan, Jabari Smith Jr., Keegan Murray, and Paula Boncaro on the outside because I don't want to judge them. And that's who I expect to start at power forward. I guess you could argue that this could be Harrison Barnes and Keegan Murray at the small forward, whatever you want to say, but it don't really matter too much. I got Caleb Martin, or I think Cody Martin, one of the two. I always forget which one is which. Darius Baisley, PJ Washington. Do I want to throw him at B? Eh, we'll go B for PJ Washington. So, I think you got Baisley, O'Shea Brissett, Marvin Bagley. And then for the B tier, you got Christian Wood, Kuzma, Patrick Williams, PJ Tucker, Al Horford, Bojan, Aaron Gordon, Julius Randle, Jeremy Grant, Jay Crowder, Marcus Morris, John Collins, and then PJ Washington. And then for your A tier, you got Ben Simmons, Jaron Jackson, Zion, Scotty Barnes, Evan Moley, Draymond. And then you got Giannis, Cat, Anthony Davis. Would you, let me know what you guys agree and disagree with for this Power Forward tier list. Tomorrow we got the starting Small Forward tier list. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did. This is Crushables Extended. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.